Now let's take a look at fire extinguishers. They're divided into five categories, classes A, B, C, D, and K. And each one is used for specific types of fires. They also have numerical ratings that serve as a guide for the amount of fire the extinguisher can handle. The higher the number, the more firefighting power. The ABC extinguisher is the most common type for general use. This is a multi-purpose dry chemical extinguisher. The ABC type is filled with monoammonium phosphate, a yellow powder that leaves a sticky residue. The disadvantage of this type of fire extinguisher is that it may be damaging to electrical appliances, such as a computer. Another type is a carbon dioxide or CO2 fire extinguisher. Now these are used for class B and class C fires. Class B fires involve flammable or combustible liquids such as gasoline, kerosene, grease, and oil. A class C fire, however, involves electrical equipment such as an appliance, wiring, or circuit breakers and outlets. Now, CO2 extinguishers contain just that, carbon dioxide, a non-flammable gas, and they're highly pressurized. In fact, the pressure is so great in some of these that it's not uncommon for bits of dry ice to shoot out of the nozzle when you spray it. They don't work very well on Class A fires, and these include the ordinary combustible materials such as paper, wood, and cardboard, and most plastics. The CO2 extinguisher may not be able to displace enough oxygen to put these types of fires out. Now, this causes the fire to actually reignite. But CO2 extinguishers do have an advantage over dry chemical extinguishers. Since they don't leave harmful residue, they're a great choice for an electrical fire on a computer or other favorite devices like your stereo or a TV. Now, it's important to know what type of extinguisher you're using. Using the wrong type of fire extinguisher for the wrong type of fire can be life-threatening. For example, using a water fire extinguisher on an electrical fire could electrocute you. Also, using water on a grease fire will only spread the fire out and create more of a dangerous situation. So when preparing to use a fire extinguisher, keep the following points in mind. Always tell someone to call 911 before using a fire extinguisher. Do not fight fires that are larger than a desk in size or is producing thick black smoke or that has flames reaching the ceiling. Don't force yourself to fight any fire that makes you nervous. If you don't feel comfortable using a fire extinguisher, help others to evacuate and wait for the fire department to arrive. If you're unable to extinguish the fire, leave and close the door behind you. As a general rule, it helps to remember the acronym PASS when using an extinguisher. P is for pull the pin at the top of the extinguisher. The pin releases a locking mechanism and will allow you to discharge the extinguisher. A stands for aim. Aim at the base of the fire, not the flames. This is really important in order to put out the fire. You must extinguish the fuel in which the fire is coming from. S stands for squeeze the lever slowly. This will release the extinguishing agent in the extinguisher. If the handle is released, the discharge will stop. S stands for sweep from side to side. Using a sweeping motion, move the fire extinguisher back and forth until the fire is completely out. Operate the extinguisher from a safe distance, which is usually several feet away, and then move towards the fire once it starts to diminish. Be sure to read the instructions on your fire extinguisher. Different fire extinguishers recommend operating them from different distances. Remember, aim at the base of the fire, not at the flames. This is an extremely important point when trying to extinguish any fire. So in conclusion, remember, fire safety is everybody's responsibility and prevention is the best cure to not getting hurt or killed in a fire. Be sure to be aware of your surrounding areas Know how to escape if a fire does break out, and if the fire is small enough, it's a great idea to know how to use a fire extinguisher because you never know when you might be able to save a life.